Hi, my name is Jody Williams, and this is my second Graphics Fairy journal for the design team, and I'm really excited about this one. Um, I used so many different images from a wide variety of bundles for this journal. Um, the main theme of this journal is that of a young woman who has been sent to Paris to complete finishing school, and the cover features a young lady from the Antique Portraits two bundle. I've used a frame right here from the mini French ephemera bundle to pretend that she had this portrait taken while she was in Paris. The main theme of this journal does come from the Tattered Treasures bundle and I have used this particular imagery from that bundle. It was my whole inspiration for this journal and in particular this word demoiselle. I love that word. I love the word mademoiselle and it just sort of spurred me forward to create this this journal. So now that you know what the theme of the journal is, let's have a look inside. I did use some um, some silk velvet ribbon to, as my tie, and um, when we open it up, you will see as I as I've expressed before, a lot of my journals, my theme is that of a keepsake treasure box. Um, I did in, create some faux postcards. I did print on front and back of these postcards, which I thought would be sort of fun. She's exchanging postcards with her friends and everybody's writing in French. I thought that would be sort of fun. In this first pocket, this this does come from one of the rose bundles. Um, this little piece of ephemera may be a reminder of her millinery shop back in San Francisco where perhaps she lives. Um, Throughout the journal, I did create various digital papers, um, combining them and then creating pockets to uh, put things in. I love to embellish with sorry silk ruffles. This page is made from handmade rag paper and I did create a ruffle using coffee filters and sari silk and here is a bird from one of the wonderful pink bundles and and a valentine from a victorian valentine bundle now one of the things that's really um, important to know about this journal is so many of the pieces I used from the various bundles, they're, they're so subtle you won't know that I've used them because they were basically blank pieces of paper. For instance, this, this particular piece of paper was printed, it was from one of the um, vintage papery bundles, and I printed front and back this old looking paper where you can see the foxing and and for instance on these little um, ads that I printed I used French newspaper print from a French newspaper print bundle to make it look like I actually cut these uh, these little snippets out of an actual newspaper um, one of the things I think is really important to give an old effect is to print on the back here, for instance, is a very foxed look um, to make this little calling card look like it has been aged. And, and this one is one of my favorite and most used from the Vintage Papery um, bundle. I love this foxing. It just makes it look like this is an actual old document that I've fold it up and put in here something that maybe she's treasured and put away in her in her journal and once again I do love to make my center pockets um, a double pocket and I did create this digital paper to to use to make that pocket um, and turning the pages I did continue to use Valentines from the Victorian Valentines throughout throughout this journal. And here is a piece that I made using a graphics fairy envelope pattern. And also I used imagery from a, one of the French ephemera bundles, but it was yellow. The original piece of ephemera was yellow and I decided to turn it pink to match the theme of my journal, which is kind of a sort of beige, or not beige, kind of a 
a, a, a subtle kind of suede color and pink. Um, and this particular piece here is one of the most favorite projects I did when I used, when I made this journal was I took from, um, I think it's mini ephemera bundle, there was this wonderful image and here's the actual image, it looked like this. And then there was another image in the pack bundle that looked like this. And what I did was I realized that it was actually one envelope that had been front and back copied and so what I did was I sort of reconstructed the envelope and I love this little Aubin Marche, the little Aubin Marche sticker. And I, I did cut it out and stapled it to the envelope. I just really had fun making that and reconstructing that. And again, I did make my own digital paper using Forget-Me-Nots from, I think the bundle's called Forget-Me-Not, but it's a really wonderful bundle full of blue flowers. Um, and here is a kitty that I, this is her kitty back at home. And I figured she'd want to keep a picture of her kitty. And this did come from one of the um, animal photography bundles. Now in the center of this journal, what I've done is I have made a ribbon tie and a removable journal, which I have created using a book cover from the, the little sewing bundle. And once again, I did use old fox pages from the Vintage Papery to give the little booklet a little old aged feeling. And um, this is a blank journal, which someone can write all of their thoughts in. And um, I just find that in my journal, since so much of my journal making is um, pockets where I've stuffed it full of ephemera, I always like to include a little journal that you can write your personal thoughts in. Now this is a valentine that I made using valentines This from several different bundles. Um, and what I did was I pinned it with an old rusty pin to this piece of paper, I was thinking when I did this, I remember my grandmother telling me they didn't have paper clips when she was a girl. And so she, she into her old age, continued to use pins, straight pins, to pin reminders of pieces of paper to things. And I just thought that would be a fun way to um, indicate the time that this young lady would be going to finishing school, the 19th century. Um, Throughout this uh, this journal, I, I have continued to use old pieces of French ephemera, printing them front and back to give that old feel to the journal. This is one of my favorite, one of my favorite French ephemeras, this old legal document. And I have just gone through and tried to make mementos here are some holy cards from one of the, from both the Silent Night holy card collection and another French, mini French ephemera collection. For instance, I envision that she's possibly at a convent school. And so she's collecting her little holy cards given out by the sisters at the convent and she's just saving them here in her journal. And this is another piece of digital paper that I made using several bundles, one with the blue flowers. Here's a, another Paris theater, comes from one of the wonderful bundles. I will make a list of all the bundles at the end of the blog post. I used so many. Um, and this, in this little glassine envelope, I have put several little printed pieces of ephemera. For instance, maybe she went to a theater. Um, here's a souvenir from the seashore. But of all the ephemera I've ever used, I don't know, this one is my favorite. This little soap ephemera is one of my most favorite graphic fairy ephemera imagery. And I use it, I use it over and over and over again. I, I've used it so many times I can't even count. I love that piece of ephemera. And here's a calling card from the autograph bundle and I did I did add a little rose to this little piece of ephemera because I thought it was it was pretty um, now this piece is made from the washi tape and uh, what I did was I cut the strips of the washi tape and then I wove them into this basket weave card and put it on the back of a telegram and 
I'm, I'm assuming that she's doing arts and crafts while she's at finishing school, and here's one of her little craft projects. And here's a, a, a bird from the Rose is a Rose bundle. I just love these little bird cutouts. I, I've, made, I've used a couple of them throughout in this journal. And from some of the Valentine, Victorian Valentine um, bundles, I use these hands just like my Violet card. These hands I've used over and over again. In fact, I've even turned some of these hands into Halloween hands for Halloween bundles. I've, I've made the roses black and made little skulls. <laughs> but I just adore these hands, and I just have used them over and over and over again. And finally, I did use these tags from um, one of the bundles. I think it's the pink bundle. Oh, I just love these tags. They are so beautiful. And I've, I've used three of them in this journal. I just think they are just absolutely gorgeous. And um, I just had to use them. So the whole theme of this bundle was really fun to make. Um, it, it was right in my wheelhouse because it I was able to use all my frou-frou elements of crinkled ribbon and netting and flowers and um, lots of netting, lots of lace. Um, I had so much fun making this, this journal and I hope all of you enjoyed looking at it as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you for letting me share it with you.